I was in the shower and God was like, for every lie, there first was a truth. I was like, wow. He said, in order for Satan to lie, I've already spoken something truthful over you. Make it practical. Satan told me that God allowed my brother to die. But the truth was that God allowed my brother to live forever with him. See, Satan to come and tell you that you'll always be lonely, but to rejoice because somewhere before that, God said that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Satan always comes and try to counter what God already said about you. So one way that I got my sanity back, I know that when Satan comes and he starts lying to me, I know God has already spoken the truth about the situation. And in order for it to be a lie, it has to be directly opposite what God has already said. <laughs> it blew my mind, man. And I understand now when Jesus was led into the wilderness and Satan kept trying to tempt him with different things. He was weak, he was hungry. Satan tried to offer him kingdoms, told him to jump off a cliff and uh, God to save him, to offer even offered him kingdoms. But Jesus immediately responded with truth. Our problem is that we take too long and we sit there in that lie. And eventually that lie will consume us and we'll walk away from the truth. And we'll live that lie. And that lie will become us and we will become that lie. So whatever Satan's whispering to your ear today, just know that God has said the complete opposite. And once Satan knows that you understand this truth, he stops whispering lies into your ear because he understands. Now you understand he is speaking the very opposite of what God has already said about you.